Aniswark Ironworks in Merthyr Tydfil operated as a part of the Great Cyfarfa Ironworks complex, belonging to the Crawshay family between 1801 and 1879. At Aniswark, iron ore was smelted to cast iron, which was then refined to produce iron with fewer impurities and suitable for conversion into wrought iron at Cyfarfa. This animation shows the works in its heyday, in about 1860. Anisvach Ironworks is built into a hillside, allowing the raw materials to enter the site at the level of the top of the furnaces. The coke, iron ore and limestone were stored in the stockyard at the top of the site. The iron ore was roasted in a row of kilns between the yard and the furnaces. The materials were then assembled in the bridge house, and barrowed to the top of the site's four blast furnaces. The blast furnaces were supplied with air blown by two large beam-blowing engines, one in an engine house at each end of the site. The northern engine house survives today. Each blast furnace could produce more than 10 tonnes of iron a day. This was tapped onto sand beds in the casting houses, where the molten iron solidified to form iron pigs. The pigs of raw cast iron were then taken to the refinery. In the six refining hearths, batches of around a tonne of pig iron were remelted in a very strong air blast. Over a period of about two hours, many of the impurities in the iron would have been oxidised. The iron was run out into water-cooled trays and quenched with water to produce a slab of refined metal which could then be broken up for transport to the puddling forges at Kvartva. The beam engines were powered by steam from batteries of boilers located in boiler houses at both the north and the south of the site. It was the invention of the refinery process that permitted the development of Merthyr Tydfil as the world's leading centre of production of wrought iron in the early 19th century. The Ennisvach refinery hearths are the only examples of this important technology to have been investigated archaeologically. <laughs>